Hi everybody, this is Brent here from Studio One Expert and in this final video of this four part series I'm going to be showing you the perform feature of the show page. In the last three videos we've looked at the overview and the controls panel and I've showed you how to set up your own set list and playback mode down the bottom here. I've also showed you how to take your music from the song page in Studio One to the show page. So go back and watch them videos before you come to this video if you want to learn how you can do all of those things as well as setting up player tracks like we have on the left here. Now, the perform feature is what enables performers to actually be able to focus on doing just that and not worrying about their actual technicalities of the show page and focus on engaging with their audience and then you can really deliver on what it is that you do best. So, now we have all of our controls predefined like we did in the last page. We can see the perform page here. Now, just a short disclaimer, I'm on an ultra wide monitor here. So when I go into the perform feature here, it goes into an aspect ratio, which doesn't quite fit the monitor. But this view here is exactly the same apart from on perform page here, we get this set list on the side here and our player track. It also gives us some time code as well, but we're gonna go back to the perform view here. It's exactly the same apart from that. So, as you can see, everything that we predefined in the last page has now been set up in this perform view here. This is where you're gonna actually spend most of your time when you're actually at the gig venue. Now, as you can see, these parameters have been mapped to the various faders, the encoders, and even the buttons. We can also change these on the fly when we get to a gig. It would be really simple as just doing in the last video, remove the target and assign a new parameter to a controller. And one thing to pay attention to is your control link up the top here. So I've got this assigned to one of my MIDI um, controllers, which you can define up here in preferences. And then if you go to external devices, you'll see that I've got quite a few external devices here. And all of these will more than likely be pre-mapped if you have a PreSonus fader port or an Atom. So if you don't have a fader port or Atom and you have a third party controller, it's really simple if you want to define these messages. It's just like if you were assigning MIDI CC controls to any um, contact library or VST synth, you simply right click and assign volume to slider. Now the best way to do this is move the actual MIDI parameter physically with your fingers and it'll change. So if I just move this here, assign volume to a slider one, or if I did two, assign the slider two. It's that simple, it would be the same up here. So as we can see, here's my volume for all of my tracks. And if we go into the perform view, it'll actually tell us what these are controlling. So there's my volume, volume for all of these. And we can see that we can control it to all of the different faders that we've set down here in the control panel. So it's a really simple way, and we can also control all of our coloring from here as well if we wanna change that. And as we can see up here, we've got our feedback and decay that I assigned down here to the Analog Lab Delay, which is a new um, plugin from Presonus. So I can control the feedback for my guitar and decay for my vocal, which is a really nice little thing to add in your performance. So it's a really simple way of focusing on just performing and not worrying about all of the technicalities of the show page. So if you just wanna recap quickly over the show page, it's a very actually simple system to get your head around. You have overview, you drop your players and your tracks in here, and you can bring your actual song from the song page into show page. You set up your set list, very simple. The set list is actually gonna sort itself out when you drop a track in, then you just decide how long you want the track to actually play for in between and assign your pauses. And then in the controls, we assign everything that we want to, and that's completely personal. And then when it's time to perform, we go to the perform mode up here, and that's the same as this, and then it's time to hit the stage and actually make our music live. So you can see how coming from the song view to the show page, you've almost done at least half the work when you've um, created your song's production. So you could probably write a song and bring it into the show page all within the space of finishing your song. This could be set up within about 10 to 15 minutes for one track with all of your players, and it's a no thrills approach to having a lot of control over your live stage performance. So I hope you've got something useful out of these past four videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.